Hello, chat. Happy Sunday. Ready for the stream. It's Memorial Day weekend. So I get to stream three nights in a row. It's awesome. Hope you're all doing good. I'm watching the game. Super liminal. Aren't you so happy that such a hype song was before? Such a... Relaxing game. Oh no. Why isn't it being captured? I set this up earlier. The game is sick. It looked pretty cool. Capture specific window. That's why I did. There we go. I'm a spiritual, lyrical, miracle individual. Anyway. Welcome. Super liminal. We're just gonna. I'm gonna take a moment here and really appreciate the piano music that we have. Very nice. I did not know this is gonna have this kind of music. <laughs> oh man, I like it. All right, we're gonna start the new game. Are you filled with feelings of self-doubt? Yes. Do you find yourself prone to minimizing massive dilemmas? Or for allowing the smallest problems to get blown completely out of proportion? Yes. At the Pierce Institute, our patent-pending Somnoscope technology provides safe and effective dream therapy while you rest in the comfort of our flagship clinic. Ah. Located right next to the secondary overflow parking lot at the University Medical Center. Somnoscope. Somnoscope. Make your dreams come true. Somna is a word related to sleepy, right? Sleeping? Dreaming? I have insomnia, which means I'm incapable of sleeping. Uh... What? Oh, that's okay. The sensitivity is whack, though. How do I gameplay? Look, sensitivity. We're going that. Let's go on, like, at least that much more. Okay, that's much better. Terms of service. Oh, I just signed. Oh, oops. This has like this a, something with the movement that I I can't particularly describe. So I'm gonna just press the W key. See, like it doesn't really go right away. Sometimes it does, but sometimes like it, it's a very small bit. It's like you, you take a moment to build up momentum before you, you go top speed. It's a very interesting feeling. I haven't really experienced that in a game before. It has some friction, yeah. It, it's very interesting. I'm amazed at how quiet this game is. Game looks delayed, even the subtitles are going faster than the actual voice lines. A lot of games do that. What does that say? Perception is reality. Grab. Okay. Huh? What? Well, can I make this, like, really big? Uh, what the fuck? I pick that up here. That make it tinier. All right, so if I just pick things up and get closer to them, I can just make them grow in size. But if I pick it up from far away, it'll get smaller. That's so fucking trippy, bro. Like, no, I make you smaller. No, I swear, perception is reality. Comparatively, it's it's average. <laughs> Terms of service accepted. Congratulations on falling asleep. 
Welcome to right Somnasculpt. Your rotate. progress may be monitored Ooh. by qualified specialists. This orientation will adapt you to eyelids, our interactive, lucid induction dream state in which you retain full consciousness and control. I need this on my dawn. Congratulations for getting the joke. Objects beyond this point at all time. Yo, it's super tiny now. Can I make it even smaller? I guess there's like a limit to how small it can get. Well, that's interesting. There's like a noise. I don't know if you guys can hear it. It's like. I don't know. I found that just really, like, satisfying. I don't know. Wait. There's no items allowed. Ah, uh, we can do that, though. It's so clever. This game's cool. Now... Now I need to make it bigger. Not that big. <laughs> make it bigger. <laughs> Confirmed. You can move freely, interact right? with surrounding objects, and listen to messages from your patient care team. Please note that I am the standard orientation protocol, and that my voice has been explicitly chosen to remind you that I am not a part of your patient care team. I do not care. Super Lone always seemed like an antechamber successor in my eyes. I never played antechamber. Yo, that's so fucking weird. Chat gonna go crazy with these bigger, smaller jokes. Oh, this is tr like tricky. There we go. Chat will go nuts. Chat loves to make penile references. Give a chat a reason to speak of their member, and they will. Gladly oblige. Gonna stick your small three through the hole. See? Oh, now chat knows to talk about my member. I don't know if you guys want to do that. I like how this is cheese. Chat, do you even know if I have a member? That jump. Ooh, that During was close. Eyelids, you will lose the ability eyelids. to awaken suddenly due to realizing that this is a dream. Evidence. I have already informed you that this is a dream. You did not wake up. <laughs> the dream is collapsing. Please complete the remaining orientation activities. Ballas. This is ballistical. So. Okay. I can't do that. I can... If you want those reptoids in disguise, that's true. I'm, I might actually be a reptoid. Us reptoids would. Warning. 
You oh. have deviated from the orientation pathway. Oh no. At the Pierce Institute, patient safety is a keynote in our corporate priority tetrahedron. A variable a degree of, of force can and will be authorized to ensure patient safety. Please return to the orientation pathway. Oh no. I'm of a uh, of a deviant orientation, it seems. <laughs> Oh, okay, the button's right there. It's very tiny. I love how there's no music. Uh, there's not no music, but there's, there's very little music in this game. It's very relaxing. It's almost as if... I don't know where I'm going with this, to be honest. I, I need it to go on the button. Hard to like. I see what I must do. I tried playing this and it made my computer damn near explode. I think it's, this is why I, I've purchased a good computer just to play games like this. All environments perceived during eyelids should reflect a typical mental state. If you believe your mental state was compromised by Somnasculpt, please provide a comprehensive, rational explanation in your post-procedural survey. <laughs> Completed surveys may be eligible uh, for me. a gift card. Really? No objects beyond this point at all. I just used my last cop drop. Same with Mirror's Edge 1. You can't even run Mirror's Edge 1, chat member? That's up. Wait, what the heck? Oh, one of these is... What? What is... You is have fun. That is a sentence. I mean, this, this is a pretty fun game. Dream Soda. Green. This is what the mask is for. I saw that earlier. Uh, I, I don't... What mask? Green? Green. Oh boy. Oh? We gotta... Gotta like There we go. That's pretty sneaky. Oh Yo, it's <laughs> it's Moyai horse. <laughs> what? Some fruit? Bunch of fruit for some fruity fellas. Wait. Yo, this is a good one? That's what I've heard. Moyors? Moy <laughs> Moyase? We're gonna yon hakaniju this Moyase? This is... This is weird. I like that. That reminds me of, um... Which SCP is it? Where it's like the never-ending hallway or whatever? I know, SCP. SCP, you know, is, is Crink, I believe, what, what the kids say. What does this do? Oh. Uh, no, no, there's the never-ending Ikea, but there's a hallway one. as well. Um, it's in Containment Breach. It's just like a hallway and a bunch of other hallways connected. 087B. I thought that was the staircase. I don't know. I'm curious. I was just doing this room. 
Oh, I can take the sign off the wall. Nine seventy? The hallway one? I don't think nine seventy is the hallway. It's okay. Staircase is the one without the beat. Oh, okay. When you wake up in game, you're back in Remorbius the shits. No, anything but that. I was ready to drink last night because of Remorbius. Oh, okay, I guess. I guess I gotta be fast. Alright, run like ass. Actually, there's only one movement speed Please in this game. Please stand by for polite recognition on your completion of the Somnasculpt orientation. Okay. You did it. Thank you. To maximize the time allotted for your therapeutic journey, please do not delay in proceeding through the final doorway as indicated. Okay. I'll do that. Thank you. No one deserves to be in Remorbius. Jeez. Huh. Something is wrong here. That game was so bad. Honest to God. I think it's safe to say I, um, I, 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 I hate it. But even. Oh, this one is quite tricky. In fact, he's gonna morb. I'm ah, uh, chat. I'm morbing. I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm trying to make it bigger. <laughs> Holy fuck! Hey, cool. That was an accident. Music's over. So this is kind of like Portal. That's cool. Except Portal did this a lot later. I remember as a teen in 87, really got to me. Oh, as a teen, 0, 87. Really got, I thought this was going to be like a Morbius joke, where it's like, I remember when I was a teen in 87. I was John Michael Morbius, and it was the summer, and I, I had my first part-time job at the Shota shop, shop, and I morbed for the first time ever. I, was, I remember as a teen, 87 really got to me, the idea of an ordinary place just getting darker as you go further down the stairs is terrifying. <clears throat> Michael Morbius has broken the simulation. I repeat, Michael Morbius has broken the simulation. Oh, wow, okay. Look at that. Game's over. That's it. We're done. We did the training. Oh, there's no one in the building. My name is Jean-Pierre Morbius. This is the French dub of Morbius. created a serum that will turn me into a vampire. A living vampire. That means I can eat garlic on my pizza. I do not do such things. I believe in superior French cuisine. I eat French bread pizzas on my baguette. When I morb, I say, I'm going to Le Morb. Maybe I shouldn't carry this door around with me. The exit is this way. 
Le Maquel is about to morph. <laughs> Stand back. I'm beginning to ease. Alright. I can't uh, I can't alter your perception chat, but just imagine this thing. What does it look like to you? I think in thinking it's looking a little You already know. It sucks. <laughs> yeah, you already know, you already know. Not making it any bigger. There we go. Took a while to understand that, thankfully. <laughs> Dr. Glenn Pierce. Hi, Glenn. And I'd like to talk to you about being special. So special, in fact, that we have no idea where you are. But not to worry. We're working on it. Oh. Thanks. I thought I woke up. Listen. When you're a connoisseur of Among... You're just able to recognize the Among. Like right here, there's an Among. They're everywhere. Oh, hey, wacky! Ow! That's cool. Spot parkour. So how do I make this how do I make this real? When the imposter is morbing, stand out crew stand back crewmate. I'm about to morb. How do I make you real? Ah, uh -huh. I gotta line up the plant. Where is the plant? The plant is fake. I just pick up this one. I can. I need both though. Shimmed. Okay, I want to perceive this as real. And I can't do that though. this like that. What the heck? Oh! There we go. <coughs> oh, it kind of, like, shifted me into place. That's weird, but helpful. Textures are funny. 
What the fuck? Whatever. Yeah. Not asking any more questions. What? How does that even work? Can I just come up here? What? <laughs> uh -huh. That's so strange. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. You already told me that. And I'm just popping in to give you a quick update on where you are. We still don't know. Okay. But please keep moving forward. And hopefully, you prefer frequent updates to being reminded that you are completely lost. Well, as long as I know I'm lost, then, like, it's according to plan, right? What is this? Lucid dreaming? Please head to the exit to wake up. Eh. Oh, nice green screen. Uh, I guess not really a green screen, huh? But... Okay, so first order of business is I need to get up. Anything I can pick up? Okay. Can't bring anything into the room. Can open that. Oh, hello. I didn't notice that there. It needs to be bigger. Okay. Now we have... Uh, speaking of bigger, and uh, it seems I picked up a queen. I mean, it's a bishop. I don't know. I don't know chess. Chess is for nerds. Yeah, I think that's... I don't know. It's something. I think it's the queen. Oh. Endless track. Wait, did I just get an achievement? I wasn't even paying attention. Wait, why does this have a light on it? Why is there a hole? Was that hole always there? You can use the fire extinguishers on the wall, but I don't know what the purpose of it is. Ooh, really? Wheeze? <coughs> I'm gonna wheeze. Oh my goodness. Hey, oh, what the heck? What? Yo, that's massive. And I really enjoy that. What's the purpose of this? Oh, is he gonna tell me I'm lost again? Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce, and we still can't find you. But you should now have access to a series of elevators that should trigger your subconscious to gradually wake you up. You should also find a variety of emergency exit signs that should lead you to them. Will all of this work? 
Absolutely. They won't work, will they? I think there are a few secret places you can get to in this game. Ah, that makes sense. Okay. This is pretty cozy, though. I like this game's, like, ambience. Something's not right. I think this Glenn guy is a quack. Yeah, I don't trust Glenn. Among. Uh, Glenn. Big guy. What's going on? Is there a reason those are open? is also press the red alarms oh the fire alarms fire alarmist I got an achievement that did nothing <laughs> oh, wait, oh there's another one over here Oh, you only get achievements for it. Okay, that makes sense. So can I grab the moon? I can grab the moon. Why is all this shit on there? your eye like a big pizza pie that's amore I guess that's good enough hello my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce I didn't press a in thing. the event that this elevator does not wake you up please don't interact with anything that strikes you as psychologically significant as we will no longer have any way of controlling it Hmm. Should I wait for him to finish? Okay. The alarm clock seems psychologically important. Whatever, I'm just going to leave that alone. Everything's empty again. Glenn? Scoundrel? This is an automated message for all patients who attempted to use an alternate pathway to access the next phase of Somnasculpt therapy, but who have become trapped in a dream state paradox instead. Oh good, there's more Your than decisions of us? imply a failure of orientation, which reflects negatively on the standard orientation protocol. You will rectify this failure immediately. So you're saying my orientation is a failure? And that you want to rectify my rectum? I mean, orientation? Okay, I swear, I thought that said ball sack for a second. <laughs> God, I can't believe... We're having our orientations rectified. What about my rectum? Nothing. Who said anything about a rectum? Yeah, you hear the nonsense, chat. Get your head out of the gutter. That's what you gotta, you gotta... 
Alright, now it'll definitely fit through. It's weird, I don't know what I'm perceiving it as in front of me or far away. This game's, like, really messing with me. What the fuck? Can I come down here? I want a big light. Secret hole. All about getting in them secret holes. Ooh. Professional tip, the average adult can only withstand three to five dreams per night. Huh. Once this threshold is eclipsed by entering more dreams, Word. your mind will suffer an explosive mental overload, reorienting you for the emergency exit protocol. Please subject yourself to explosive mental overload. I don't want to explode. I thought I'd be able to make them real. Suppose not. This is so sad. Alexa, play Vermilion Part 2. <laughs> uh, that's never not going to be amusing. What the hell? Pretty wacky and wild. Please note that a reluctance to volunteer for the risks associated with explosive mental overload implies a misunderstanding of all other solutions, all of which are far more traumatic and likelier to result in catastrophe. I am not capable of suboptimal suggestions. Please exit this dream as soon as possible. I'm trying. That, that was unexpected. Alright, this is my box. Never mind. I've broken it. Just keep going. Stop asking questions. It's like wartime. What? Oh. I think it still works. It's okay. Fuck. That was weird. Watching the stream in two times to mess with the time. You can't watch in two times while it's live, you liar. So I can't go up there. Alright, like a piece of. It was weird. It was like, as I was falling in the game, like a piece of dust like flew by me and it was like... Weirded me out. It just like fell on my desk. No idea where it even came from, to be honest. I'm trying to think. Bizarre. <laughs> Wait, this is a different loading. Oh, okay. I've woken up again. So this is dream number three? <clears throat> I'm still dreaming. Hello. My name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. And despite touring the Waterfall Serenity Zone in the previous section you've just completed, you may still be experiencing feelings of worthlessness and self-doubt. Why do I feel like everything is going wrong, even when the sun is shining? Are you going to finish that? Of course not. Around this corner and... Dark. Oh. Hmm. 
mind awake, body asleep. I think this is... Why is it so ominous now? This guy is definitely a quack. I agree. Oh, okay. Well, I've now learned helplessness. What, what did I just pick up? What is this? Propane? Is that blood? Yo, is that the cover for blood? Alright guys, this isn't so fun anymore. Starting to get scared! More scary than Remorbius. Hank had to kill someone for that propane, you see. It might have been helium, not propane, but... Murder. 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 Beans. What did I tell you about waking up? Now we're in the Remorbius the list now. Uh... Cannot see. Oh wait, maybe I can pick these up? I cannot. Can't go back. Oh, maybe. maybe there's okay no cannot cannot change my brightness so oh it's that simple huh walk into the darkness I can walk in this direction to go. I can. I guess there's no reason for me to not have. You know a game is class when the menus aren't the default Unreal or especially Unity fonts. Exactly. Oh. Well, I don't want to fall. So I will... That's, this is funky. Why did it get like this? What? Like... Hello. My name is Dr. Glenn Pierce, and I'd like to talk more oh, about okay, good. the things he is that going to That's good. doubt I mentioned before. You feel this way because you want the kind of happy life you see all around you. Yes. The kind you know everyone else is enjoying. I would like to feel and happiness. that's exactly why we're here to help. Okay. How? Oh. I don't think this guy's going to help me be happy. I think, I think this, I think this is a sham. Not okay. Why do I get the feeling the MC is just a murder man? I don't know if I'm murder. Am I, am I, rem, am I John Remorse? After he's died and gone to hell. into the darkness. <laughs> Excuse me. So. Oh. Oh, I gotta go this way. 
No? Oh! Cool. Warning. You were advised to subject yourself to explosive mental overload by descending into additional dreams but have now descended into a dream within a dream instead, disorienting yourself even further. You are responsible for failing to make this crucial distinction. Uh, oh, yes, yeah, sorry. My bad. I didn't mean to do it. This is some clever usage of shadows. I, I concur. Okay. Oh, okay. Shodan's cousin. Much nicer than Shodan. A little. A little unpleasant. This is the only way I've ever pissed the bed in my lifespan. Life past childhood? I've never... Why would you admit to pissing the bed? <laughs> I can't pick these up. I know you said it was a dream within the dream, but still. Man just got something off his chest for us. Oh, okay, just go this way. This is kind of neat. I ain't gonna see none of you y'all IRL, so I don't give a fuck. I mean, that's fair. I'm just... I don't know. Am I the weird one? I've never pissed the bed, like, after, like, a childhood experience. Like, when I was young. I don't know. I wake up, like, in pain. Sometimes, like, I, I wake up in pain because I need to pee so bad, and I wish I pissed the bed. Okay, maybe not that. <laughs> you know, but that's how bad it is. Also, I've had dreams where I'm peeing. And, uh... I get scared. I wake up because I'm pissing in my dream and I'm like, oh god, did I pee like in my bed and then it's just everything's bone dry and I get really confused. I want to be bigger. I don't think I've had a lot of dreams about pissing. <clears throat> well, don't. Unironically scary.
Did you know that unintentional oh, nice. multi-dream layering occurs in less than 1% of patients? This correlates strongly with the 99% of patients who are able to follow simple instructions from the standard <laughs> orientation <laughs> protocol. I'm getting roasted. Like here? What on earth? Ah, uh, it was just pink, guys. Ha ha ha. So silly. I hear the music just cuts out. Enjoy avocados. Avocados from Mexico. Oh. These loading screens are getting more and more intricate. Oh, that's a lot of... Fine, whatever. Uh... 6 a.m. No, it's not. Remember this one dream I had where gravity was super low and I was hopping around with a Mac 11. It sounds like you just played too much Counter-Strike and went to bed. That's not what I was expecting. Worst dreams are when you're falling and suddenly wake up. I don't like those. Ain't that feeling of falling, right? Before you fall asleep. It's called a... It's probably going to butcher the pronunciation. A hypnagoic jerk? The worst is when... So, I'm gonna sound crazy when I say this. But I promise it's a normal thing that happens. But... Oh. Hey, there's the thumbnail. But yeah, right, I'm, about to, I'm about to sound crazy. But there's this thing like hypnagoic hallucinations or whatever people get hypnotic jerk oh, I, I have no idea how to pronounce it um idk but uh so one of the things that i experience personally sometimes when i'm about to fall asleep is it sounds like people are talking like in the other hyp hyp hypnotic no uh which is very Concerning until I figure out what it was. It's with a G. It's hypnogogic. Look, look it up. Part of like hypnagogia or something like that. The state Attention. of falling Dr. asleep. requires you to note the following risks of dream overexposure. Significant memory loss, both quantitative and qualitative. Right Hallucinations of dreaded or annoying objects. Unrealistic beliefs about the lengths of hallways and other side effects ah. which have not yet been discovered or which cannot be understood. Oh no! Oh. This is awful. Hypnagogic hallucination. Yes. Something like that. Basically, sometimes when I'm falling asleep, I hear voices. But it's not like they actually sound like anything. It just sounds like they're in the other room. It's very bizarre and frightening sometimes. It's Tato. <laughs> Perhaps. I thought maybe I was schizo. 
An alarm clock for the whole city. Right click to return. How does this work? Never had that, I think. Well, that's good. I'm not particularly fond of it. There we go. It was just that easy. Oh. Nice fan. But I tend to keep, like, a video or some kind of white noise around. Anything? Oh no, they're just going to the void. What is the purpose? Do I need to, like, stay close? Oh, my goodness. Opinions on Micro Center? But never use them. What the heck? The lottery exists to catch time travelers. Um. Warning: Doctor Pierce is frantically submitting numerous spelling and grammar mistakes into the standard orientation protocol in a desperate attempt to counsel you. No. I have no subroutine to correct these errors, but I cannot compromise the integrity of the standard orientation protocol. You will not receive these messages. They would not make sense regardless. I think that maybe if there were time travelers, they would have. I don't know. I don't know. I, was... I don't know where I was going with that. They would have maybe been caught, but how would you know they're from the future just because they won the lottery? You'd be like you're a time traveler. Attention. Dr. Pierce continues to input significant errors. I will interpret his basic ideas. Hello, my introductions are redundant. I am a real doctor who went to doctor school. Bullshit. VR has never been a mistake. I can help you, but I also do not know how. Transmission ends. The feds catch time travelers to keep them locked up in their dungeons. How many non-time travelers got caught because they were just lucky enough to win the lottery? Ah, yes. Hello. Name is my Pierce Dr. Glenn. To the Somnusculpt Welcome Experience, team of your care leader, patient years 10 development. Condition <laughs> struggle you whatever with? Professional invention. Edge science with cutting, a tomorrow your comes edge. right. And buts, no ifs, or look good. Can't believe we're going to be edging. 
and cutting. Also, listen, you say the government, right? Right? The feds, the government. We all know that CERN secretly controls the world. Not sure, honestly, out there, out of the weird conspiracy theories, well, not sure, honestly, out of the weird conspiracy theories out there, it might make the most sense in a sense. Um, I don't know. Maybe? What's the point, though? Oh. Ah, yes, the piss filter. And sit down. Relaxing. <clears throat> ah, man, sorry, excuse me. I'm trying to drink my water. Okay. Hello, my name is Dr. Yes, Glenn Pierce. Yes, that is your name. This is a notification that you have reappeared on our monitoring system after a prolonged absence. Oh, that's good. Please continue to do whatever you did most recently, and discontinue whatever you were doing immediately prior to that. Huh. Okay. What was I doing immediately prior to this? I guess I was leaving. Okay. I feel like that can't be it. Yo! A house? Fragile. It made it large. Maybe it shouldn't be so large. There we go. If I make it normal size, I can make the jump. That's so cool! Made it too big to jump. Now it's tiny. Why is this room tiny? I don't know why that's entertaining. Wait, what the fuck? Now I gotta make it big. Far too big. That made no sense, like zero. Concerning. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. In addition to continuing and discontinuing as mentioned earlier, please also disregard any unsettling experiences that you may have recently had. Okay, how Everything recent? Should have now reverted to being soothing and therapeutic. If this is not the case, you may be receiving this message in error. So I would like to uh, disregard and forget that I played Remorse last night. That was a pretty awful experience. It wasn't exactly unsettling, it was just bad. You know? Un unenjoyable, really. But I want to make sure, like, nobody was, like, coming for me, right? It's I think Team Depressic is, is gonna be out to get me. I keep I keep saying bad things about their games. 
was actually looking up footage of Gray today. I want to look at the mod DB page for Gray. Because I was thinking, what did people think about Gray back then? And a lot of the problems people have with Gray are very similar to what they have with Remorse. And I guess these devs just have a, a type of game that they want to make. I don't know why they want it to be bad, but I mean, hey, whatever. They're the developers. How does this work? That's pretty cool. But floor sign. It's so small. I don't I get it. keep thinking is how this is all programmed. That is very true. I don't really know how they did it. All very impressive when you think about it. Hello, my name I think is Dr. A video. Glenn Pierce, and I'd like to read you my favorite inspirational quote by me. That like demoed something the like this. The worst thing you can do is focus on negativity. It won't spare you from the cage of death, the pain of disease, the cruelty of time, the cold shell of human nature, or the eventual loss of everything you've ever held dear. Oh, okay. Whatever you do, don't focus on that. It won't. Thank you. Oh boy. At least we got a bouncy house. need to be bigger what watching a video about like a non Euclidean world's entry. Yeah, I think that's what it was. I think that's what I saw too. Right? Am I supposed to be here? Oh god, it's so... I, this is... I don't like this. Oh, oh no, things are breaking. Ah, uh, it's so uncomfortable. Okay. Is there an autosave reset to checkpoint? Let's do that because things are starting to get a little weird. Ah, oh, okay. 
Okay. <laughs> He's a little off man. Just a little. I didn't do it the first time. It doesn't need to be that big. Oh yeah, you can. I think that's correct. I love the echo effect. It is nice. There we go. Hello. My what? name is Dr. Glenn Pierce, and I'd like to thank you for triggering every single one of our 823 emergency protocols. This will assist us greatly in improving the system for future patients. Congratulations. Anyway, you're now headed in the right direction, and we should be able to initiate the emergency exit protocol shortly. Oh, I think I I think I see what I should do here. Right? I want to be like big. I guess they could both be, right? <clears throat> I think. Maybe? <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Just we have to put it sideways. Oh. Whoa! 
Holy shit. Okay. Yes, could you please just... I don't know. I don't know if that's gonna work. guy cannot solve puzzle is not bassed That's gonna make it. Maybe? Cool. We did it. Oh man, giant chess. That worked, it did. I'm surprised it worked. Now we are small. You ever hear of Alice in Wonderland Syndrome? Oh god, it's so far away. Yeah, that works, I think. Thank goodness. The things are still just a little too big. Five to six streams is the absolute limit. What's the emergency protocol to the emergency protocol? Function overloading. Huh. Eating for Cardboard Lovers Association? <laughs> oh, no. Shut up. 3 o'clock a.m. Cute cat, indeed. I like the kidder. It makes you go gee. Emergency exit protocol initiated. Please oh. prepare to conclude your somnascult experience in 10, 9, 8. Error. Uh oh, error. Error logged by. Orientation protocol. Oh, no. Stand by for analysis. Or orientation shit. Uh, at least I know it's just red paint now. Error analysis complete. You are exhibiting signs consistent with an increase in fear, hopelessness, and frustration. This is inconceivable, as Somnasculpt therapy is proven to correlate with a decrease in these emotions. I don't know, man. I feel pretty fine. Hypothesis. Patient was improperly oriented. Conclusion. Impossible. Reformulating. Wake up! Improved hypothesis. Patient requires additional Somnasculpt therapy. Conclusion. Emergency exit protocol cannot proceed. Emergency exit protocol has been emergency destroyed. Oh, okay. That's the emergency protocol for the emergency protocol? Instruction. Continue with Somnasculpt therapy indefinitely on an independent basis, as all orientation resources have been exhausted. This concludes your standard orientation protocol. Goodbye. Bye-bye. 
Oh, hello. Sweet A, sweet G. Shodan light is the reason why we can't wake up shaking my head. Oh, wait. Hi, Putin is here. Hello, Putin. Welcome to the chat. <laughs> Fuck. No. Oh, you ever have dreams like this? Where you're... I have a dream. It's not even so much a dream so much. It's, it's something that happens in my dreams. What? What? Uh, where I'll hear my alarm going off. And instead of waking up. I just hear it in my dream. And... In my dream, either my phone will be going off with the noise, or I'll have an alarm set in my phone, and I'm, I press the button, and I can't get it to go off, and it keeps going, and I get really frustrated, and I can't understand what's going on, and then I wake up and realize it's because my alarm's been going off for like 10 minutes. Huh. Well, this is... I had one time something like that happened. Oh. This. And, um... They were like... There was like a person in my dream. And they were like, screaming at me to turn my fucking alarm off. And I'm like, desperately trying to press the button. Hello. And my nothing's happening. And I'm... Pierce. Like Thank breaking you for down. completing the Somnuscult Standard Orientation Protocol. Before you begin the first phase of therapy, I'd like to briefly describe the finite and fragile nature of the dream state. Okay. Well, he'd never explained. It's a. I think I've had that once. It was really bad. It's like. It's really stressful. Oh, okay. That's... This is... Definitely one of... The, the games. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Oh! Oh no. I get in there. I'm gonna do something like this. Wait, what? Oh, okay. One of the games ever. Yes. One of the games ever. Made. Of course, nothing is more challenging than the difficulty of changing perspective. Of fundamentally altering your perceptions in a way that will enable you to face dire trial by fire scenarios with solutions that could not be found otherwise. Oh. We're not programmed to seeing things in different orientation. That is true. the correct orientation. Oh no, everything's collapsing! <laughs> oh, this is getting crazy! Exit temporarily moved. <laughs> it's behind me! <laughs> Perception is not reality. No trespassing. Okay. That is true. Perception is a distortion of reality. Where's the Resident Evil countdown? 
Uh, we do need that, right? Because... I just close my eyes. The self destruction system has been activated. All personnel evacuate immediately. Okay. Now what? Dead end. Okay. Well, like, what do you want me to do? Oh, wait. I think I get it. Maybe not. Wait, what? Okay. is wrong. What? It's just looping forever. Estoy looping. of the different hallways without messing up. So, left. Right. Uh, maybe. God, I'm looping. I think you gotta keep looking to the right side at all times.
This makes no sense. Okay, so... Why does they change sometimes? Like, look at the side, don't move your mouse. Like this? Don't ever look at the signs. Oh. Oh my god, you're right. Or not. Huh. <laughs> I don't know if this is right. Two. I don't... I don't think I get it. I think I've met my match when it comes to this game. Right? You, you just... So... Looking to the right. Okay. Yeah, that's what it's really kind of feeling like. Okay. I think just remembering the exact path without looking at the dead ends or it resets, but it changes. Like, why? Sometimes it's left here, sometimes it's right there. I don't. Right, so left. See, now it's gotta be left. 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 Right? No, it's left. Why is it left? Right? Perceiving this is a sick joke. What? Not really conveying this one to me. really remember any pattern because it like the pattern almost as bad as that one puzzle in Remorbius where you slide the note under the door I think when you hear the correct sound it will always be at that side so left oh so. Oh, 
saying what? I'm not sure I follow. So right is wrong. Right wrong. Left. Like it needs to be left, but it doesn't show up as left. It keeps showing up as right. Left. When you go right, for example, and hear the correct sound, keep going right. And don't move your mouse. That's not left. It was kind of going. Okay. I think you also have to be looking at that side too. Exit sign that points in the right direction should be the last thing you have a look at. Not sure, follow. If the exit sign above points to the left, look right first when you enter the intersection, and then look back and follow the exit sign. So. What? Huh. I was not picking up on that. That's that's a weird one. Oh no. one of the puzzles ever made. I, I see, I guess, kind of, but that, I really, I don't know how you're supposed to pick up on that. I, I never did. That, that was a bizarre one, truly. Oh, okay, thank you. Finally, while we respect the unique progress of every patient, you must understand that it is possible to completely exhaust your supply of dreams, thereby entering a state in which you will not be able to wake up, even with the help of triggering mechanisms. I've exhausted all of my dream. No more. Oh. 
And what's over here? That I wrote on the blueprint. Okay. Don't know that did. What the fuck? Okay. Oh, now it's a bed. Or <laughs> yeah, whatever. Just keep going. Yeah. Perception is reality. This is reality. Is not reality. Please listen carefully for the sound of an alarm clock, which will automatically play if you are approaching a destabilizing dream weight. Oh, what's that? Oh, okay. What? That's so weird. I, I still I, I don't get used to it. Oh, I'm in an infinite parking lot. What? I guess it's not so infinite. 3 a.m. Oh no. Whatever you do, do not order the Among Us Happy Meal at 3 in the morning. Oh no, my walls are closing in. I'm gonna go at super speed. Ah. Oh. Neat. Hey. Oh, time to wake up. It tells me it's a fake loading bar. Well, this looks the most normal. This is highly unusual. It appears you have entered the Sonasculpt diagnostic framework. Patients do not have access to this dream. <coughs> oh, I thought I muted my microphone. I'm sorry. <laughs> Call Jungles Management. He's a two-day lamb. Scent of burned curry. Shipments of food coming here. Don't have space for more. Ask if they can hand out flyers for testing. Also ask Ryan... Rysan Medical for increased canister order frequency. That's how, like, I think the color kind of got muted around the edges. Okay. Hear the jungle music. Oh. A soundproofing there so you can hear the music. Oh, hello. Inception. Oh, oh no. Who's being conceived? Why this bro playing in playing Stanley Parable? I'm not playing Stanley Parable. This is a good game. Diagnostic warning: Unrealistic user dream objects may result in dream integrity fail state state states. Unrealistic use.
don't. But I can't pick these up. For some reason. I can just drop it on my head, of course. Plays a game about perception and realizing in ways that aren't realistic to our universe. And Aldo says, that's not very realistic of you. White space. Want to... Oh my goodness. Wait, hold on. But what happened if I... Oh my god, it's the Citadel. Right, so can I go over here? Hmm. Okay, this is the correct way. looks very cool. I like this. Whoa! This goes on forever. Oh, there's stairs here, apparently. See, unlike remorse that was intentional hello my name is dr glenn pierce hi glenn and many years ago i had a dream i found myself in a place where i understood that each of us begins as nothing where everything I perceived was shaped by seeing it exactly the way I wanted to. White space. This is interesting. So is this like the third arc? It's just... Each of us begins with nothing. Yeah, okay, buddy. Talk like you didn't come out of a literal testicles. Are we Glenn? We might be Glenn. We could very much be Glenn Superliminal. There's no color here. Better twist than remorse, I'll tell you that. Not an exit. That's true. A box is not an exit. John Subliminal, as John Subliminal in Subliminal, the famous game Subliminal about subliminal actions. No, super liminal. Not an exit. 
You know, this shadow's looking kind of like an exit. Because it is! Yeah, okay. You can't just drop, like, the coolest scenery ever and then just not do anything with it. Alright, we're gonna walk towards the light. Oh no. It's taller than me. Not anymore. So happy a cheap-ass Unreal Engine 5 game about backrooms made a zitty 16-year-old didn't take the name Superliminal. Wait, what? But in white space, I also faced the greatest challenge I could imagine. Because with a lifetime of life itself behind me, and all of the weight that it carried, I realized that seeing things the way I wanted to was not as easy as it used to be. Oh no, I, I turned the lights off. Carry me home. I knew that. I was just waiting for you guys to figure it out. Okay, sure. I don't get it. Oh boy. Now we have... Uh, I thought it was going to be another elevator. Anybody actually have dreams like this? What if I just go back? Does nothing when I go backwards, okay. And to be honest, I don't get it. Oh. oh. Okay. Oh my god, it's City 17? You're well beyond dreaming now, and further out than anyone has ever come back from. But we hope that you won't get discouraged. After all, it's if this is a place of pure perspective, isn't it also a place where a different point of view could make anything possible? Isn't that why you came here? I don't know why I came here anymore. Forgot who I am. Yes. Oh, okay. You've seen it like five times. You've seen it a lot.
Oh, okay. I get it. It makes sense now. We make it the floor real by putting chess pieces on it. This is really something about our society or something. No chess for you, but I did chess. That's a fake door? That's a real door. But I can't reach it. Literally speaks volumes about our society, it really does. It's a new perspective on society. came from? I... I don't know. Oh, you have to make the new room real. By throwing... item. I like how it's cheese. Cheese good. This is so fucking trippy. Wow. Rugs is uh, I'll make you sick. Oh, time to wake up, I guess. Wait, I can't even read the time. Oh, it's seven fifty nine AM. The sissy hypnosis hallway. Oh no. 8 a.m. Fine boom. It is 8 a.m. Oh. What the fart? Not an exit. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. And by now, you may have realized that all of this has happened exactly the way it was supposed to. I did it. You see, everyone who comes to the Institute does so because they feel that they are no longer in control of something important to them. Oh, 
Oh. But, more often than not, the problem is not that the problems we face can't be solved. The problem is what that we more? become so afraid of failure that we refuse to see our problems from a new perspective. And so, we do the same things again and again and so. again. And therein, of course, we find exactly the failure we were looking for. Everything happened as intended? They were just playing a prank on us? Uh, okay. <laughs> the sudden teleporting. With the emotional piano music. Your life will always be a struggle, and you will always have problems. But today, Stop sending me your strongest battles. To see things differently. Even though it meant facing obstacles that seemed impossible at first, you thought outside the box. And you overcame them. I like how the teleports are like timed with the animal, piano hits. You understood them for what they really were. Because you kept moving forward, no matter how far off the path you were told you were headed, or how unexpected it became, you found your way. Where's the symbolism that the MC doesn't like children? Oh, it's because you can enter the bouncy house. The game got really loud out of nowhere, though. That's cool. In a few minutes, you'll be back in the real world. And some part of you will say that none of this was real. Because it wasn't. So it was a dream. Could it have really meant anything? But Come back and use the psych ward was for Morbius itself, too much? It won't yes. have been as real as you believed it to be. All you've got to do is wait up. Oh, back to the beginning. That was right. Super liminal. Look at that. Look at that title. And we got some nice jazzy credits music. You like jazz? Okay, I get it. Game director, Albert Shit. Life change experience and a wedge of cheese. I could go for a wedge of cheese. The comically large wedge of cheese. Art director, Steve Allen. Logan Feith, level designer. Principal artist, Ryan Sanderson. Additional artist, Jerome Graves. I'm not gonna say the rest of the names out loud because that'd be a little ridiculous. I quite enjoyed that. That was fun. It's a bit wacky, a little crazy, a little ooh ooh. Lo-fi album remixer. Jazz piano interpretation. Too mellow. I like that. Beautiful. Oh, now it's jazzy. Now it's... It was lo-fi before, now it's jazzy. Everyone at Game Nest? Game Nest. That, that's what that says. Not whatever I said. Arabic translation. One of those. How come there's no other translations accredited? Okay, never mind. That's the, they're all right there. Okay. Traditional Chinese translation. Unity. This was made in Unity. Really? That's pretty fucking neat. Super Little is a game developed by Pillow Castle. Well, good job, guys. 
You earned it. Very fun game. Thanks for dreaming. Oh, I don't dream. I don't even sleep. Made in Unity and better than Reborbius. So true. What a great game. I don't dream. I drive. 2011. Do I have to press the button? I do. Proof that Unity would be awesome if you know what you're doing. Facts. There's extra modes. Challenge mode? Developer commentary. Oh. And Somniscope Workshop. Well. That was cool. Now, uh. I think I'll, uh. I'll do a quick BRB. Uh. That was shorter than I expected. So, uh. I think we can play another game for a little bit. So, uh, one moment. I will be right back. <laughs> 